didn't have class. I was about to go to class, and someone was like, no, you don't have to go to class. Like, what? That locked in? Yeah. What's, uh, what was the value of the bye week for you, mentally, physically? Yeah, I mean, obviously, we, we did a lot. Of, we worked on us um, for the bye week, you know, just getting us right, um, and then getting mentally right for, you know, just the game and, you know, with what we have to come. And then physically, obviously, it was nice, you know, getting – few days off, being able to kind of just chill out, you know, take your mind off of things for a little bit, and, um, you know, let your body rest, hang out with, you know, your family and loved ones, and if you have that opportunity, so it sounds good. Yeah, it was nice to be able to go back and see the family for a little bit. Has the season gone for you in terms of kind of getting more involved, seeing more balls come your way as the season has gone through? Yeah, no, I feel like, you know, each week uh, I've gotten better, um, you know, which is what, you know, exactly what you want as a player. You know, you want to continue to, you know, just keep going up. Um, you know, I feel like I've done that, um, you know, and that's what I want to continue to do is just getting better and better each week and then, you know, do whatever I can do, you know, to help this team succeed and win games. How much has this offense evolved from the first game to now just in terms of what you guys do and how you go about it? Yeah, I mean, obviously, before the first game, I mean, all we had was practice. Um, so it's different when you go out there and it's practice versus game. You know, some players, you know, stood out, you know, and, and then whatnot. So you can see, uh, you know, what players can do and, and who, who you want to get involved and whatnot and what these players' strengths are and, you know, like that. Um, so I feel like each game you find out more and more about each player. And then sometimes you, you know, with, with us, we've lost a few very, very key players. So they need to get other people involved. Um, so it's just changed because you have to tailor the game to your strengths, obviously. So when some players go down, you know, you might have to bring another player up and they have different strengths than the other player. Um, so I think that's how it's kind of changes. We just have to kind of evolve as an offense and find, you know, where we can fit everyone and make us like the best, I guess, if that makes sense. Do you see evidence of that? Like when Heinrich's in, you guys do things a little differently when Anthony Grant's in, when whomever? Oh yeah, I mean, you know, Heinrich and Jeff and really all of our quarterbacks are all great runners. And then Heinrich showed, Heinrich showed it, obviously. And, and every chance he has to run the ball, I mean, he runs and he takes off and he goes for 20, 30, 40, 70 yards, touchdown. Um, and then he obviously has a great arm, but he likes to throw the ball. He does, you know, he's a, he's a solid, solid gunslinger. Um, and that's, you know, that's what he's always been. And it's really everybody just kind of, it's just very different. Has, everyone has their own strengths. And, you know, you got quick, you know, quick release route runners. You got people who are just big, cross the middle, you know, make big plays. So everyone, like, like, kind of like I said, everyone's got their own strengths that can help out with the offense. You ever been on a team with a staff uh, so willing to switch guys around, maybe even in season, like you know Jeremiah Charles moving to DB and you know stuff like that that's happened throughout? Um, sure. I mean, I can't really recall anything that we did like that with the last with the last team or the last staff or whatnot. But I think it's awesome. I'm gonna be able being able to find where you know each player can play and you know be able to help us become the best team. And if they can you know play on defense to help you know, the defense and get on the field and, and that's where they're going to be able to, you know, be strong and help us and that's a strength for us and I think it's awesome. Um, you know, just kind of doing whatever we can as a, as a staff and as a team and as a player to just, you know, obviously win games and if that means like moving, shoot, if they ask me to go to like defense, I'm like, all right, well, what I got, what do I got to do, you know? I mean, hopefully it doesn't happen, but uh, I mean, that's just kind of how the staff is, but we're just going to do whatever we can to win. Yeah, you've probably already asked us, I'm sorry, but um, What's sort of your personal stock report of how you felt at like the midway point of what you got done and what you want to get done? Yeah, I mean, obviously, like I, I said, um, you know, I've kind of just been able to keep an upward trajectory, I feel like, of each game. You know, I've gotten better and better. And, um, you know, as a player, that's what you want. But obviously, yeah, I want to, you know, I want to get, you know, I, there's a lot there's a lot left on the table for me. I know that, you know, I haven't even touched where I can, where I can be. And that's what's motivating is I have so much room for growth and improvement and, uh I can't wait to, you know, keep working to that. Do you see the template being built? I mean, you guys are averaging, I think, 200 rushing yards per game and, like, five yards a carry. And yeah. even though it hasn't always been pretty, can you kind of see, like, okay, this is what – I can see the br bricks being laid here? Yeah, I mean, we have a thing, you know, as a team, it's just body blows, body blows. And I feel like, you know, as an offense, we're going to continue body blows. And, you know, there might be one, one carry we get for one yard or – two yards or negative yards, and the next carry is going to be 30 yards. So we've got to continue, you know, to pound the rock and, you know, uh, continue to body blow with the team that we want, that we're playing, playing against because, you know, it's going to eventually, they're going to wear, wear out on them. And that's kind of our goal is, you know, we want to be the, we want to be the strongest team in the fourth quarter. Um, and that's, that's kind of just been the message throughout the season. Yeah, Sims, I'm sure, isn't 
having the on-field kind of season he's wanted. What's, what's been your perspective on how he's still been a leader and a voice for this team, even if he hasn't been out there necessarily? Oh, yeah, Jeff's very impressive. I've been very impressed with that, honestly, about Jeff, is just the way he's carried himself, you know, when you know after he got injured and uh, being a great teammate to Heinrich. And you see it all, you see it everywhere. It's just, you know, when Heinrich makes a great play, uh, he's right there, you know, you know, like cheering him on, cheering him up. And a lot of team, a lot of players wouldn't do that. I feel like it's. I mean, it takes some. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a, it's a, it's a grown adult, you know, person. It takes a lot of maturity uh, to be able to do something like that. And he's still a leader on the field, and off the field. Uh, he'll be breaking down the huddle and breaking down, you know, everything like that. So I feel like, as a player, um, if you are happy with where you're at, but you're still, you know, breaking down, shows you know, just shows maturity. I feel like he's done a good job doing that. Talk about an upper trajectory. Is there anything short term, like all right, from the first handful of games, like I know this is what I can and need to do better here? Yeah, I would say honestly, just everything. But uh, you know, just route running, run blocking, being being physical at the point of attack. Um, but I would say the small, the small amount of things would be like you know footwork and like run blocking, and then my hands, you know, getting my hands where they need to be, hand placements big. Um, just really, yeah, everything. I have, I want to improve in every aspect of the game. Um, this is where I want to. I want to be the best at everything. That's my goal. Thomas, I mean, every player, coaches alike have said, go 1-0 and this week, and that's been the whole thing the entire season. How advantageous is that mindset over a bye week where it's a little easier to hear the noise about the bull hype and the upcoming schedule and all that? How do you see that mentality that coaches have instilling you pay off, like, in this week, and how do you see that going forward? I think the way we look at it is, Obviously, yeah, one and zero. We want to go one and eight. One and zero every week. We don't look past. We don't look past our, our opponent we have this week. Because if we did that, then, I mean, if we look past this opponent that we did this week, um, you know, and say we say we, you know, some they didn't go the way we wanted. If we, if we don't go one and zero this week, then we're not going to go to a bowl game. If we don't go one and zero next week, we're not going to go to a bowl game. So we, we want to make sure we go one and zero this week because that's what we need to do in order to go to, to do the things we want to do. We don't, you know, so that's why we say one and zero because the only thing that matters is this week. Just going one and zero this week. Thank you.